alpha ring I've constructed with the same characteristics that it has the beginning and it has the end but it does not loop and it's not a normal alpha ring it's a W class alpha ring which 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 means that it's a double helix but the double helix will never cross each other this is the first helix that go along these coils the second helix going across it will never cross the first helix so it will form, you see the dashed line here they do not cross, they do not cross they do not cross either so that would be taking advantage of our open laboratory with the behavior of electrons I will see how these coils would behave it behaves very strangely I will start this uh, this is the actual alpha ring I have constructed is a flexible ring one of this one one of his kinds and this is the second alpha ring that is going to be made if I have the times so I would try to get some work done before I start this alpha ring is the strangest ever coil I have ever come across and before I get into this alpha ring I would like to I would like to carry away a little because I need to go into this now with the resources of our open laboratory where we share our ideas together and exchanging data and results this is one of the experiment Jimmy has been working on also with this setting here so this is another very powerful result with the first ring on top of it we have a very very we have a uh, we have an unknown force field established it with its own distinctive magnetical field and its magnetical field with north and south at the bottom so this is the first coil then another coils would be added right at the bottom so I would expect this the second coil would have a knob likely so south knob would connect up together this cone this force field has been formed and when this little sphere was placed somewhere there it would start all its, its actions by spinning so fast and approaching to extreme high speeds so what has, what has it got to do with this type of coil with this type of force field being developed and and with all the excitement of the of the new ring here what on earth is go is happening I will run I will run the alpha coil so I would connect up the power source I have a 10 amps very powerful batteries here if I get the connection right that's the meters the meter is going a little bit odd but it's functioning plus I think so I will try to so the alpha rings has been connected 
I will try to get the amps out of it. So I would, well, I would take the amps you at the with the usual way if I can get. So whoop, it's not producing output. It. Oops. Negative. My meat has gone. I try to switch over to the voltage. Great mechanical failure. I was having 1.4 amps. Now, whoa, my meter is going wild. My meter has gone. No, bad. So I will run, I cannot just get the actual reading because the mechanical failure. So I will run out of the data I remembered last night. This alpha ring, compared to the traditional coils, the big guys here, these big guys, these big guys by itself with no moving part attached to it produce the most around 1 amps to 1.5 amps. This alpha ring have the characteristics of the rodent coils. With the rodent coils, when they put a compass at the center to try to get a reading of north-south, it gives you a negative reading. It has no such... It, with, with the data ar collected around us, there, there has been a problem with the ro rodent ring to establish a a magnetical field. The same situation happening with this type of helix, double helix coil. It it does not it does not carry itself a well. Right now the system is on. I connected the positives and negatives. It does not at all have a magnetical field as as a normal coil would normally gives out it the compass has no reaction whatsoever it has a magnetical field however this little guy single-handedly give out four amps of currents with no question asked well it's comfortable to rest on three amps of currents four amps is the, it start to overheat and and with no magnetical, I would have no no idea how on earth it would have no magnetical field and pull.